In this video, I want to take a look at the Perry Pro blends from Laura. New idea, new fun. Some time ago, Laura sent me over the Perry Pro, and I've been having a good play with it. A good out in the field play with it, not just in the studio. And I'm going to give you my thoughts on this lens now. Starting off with the case it comes in. Look at this case it comes in. Laura has always been known for their cases, their boxes, and the presentation. And the Perry Probe is no different. So we open up the case and we have the lens mount. We have the Perry Probe part. It also comes with the probe attachment as well. So you have the choice of either one of them on any particular shoot that you take it from. We have a white cable for the LEDs. This one has a power adjustment on it. And we also have a black cable, which has no power adjustment on it. So like I said, I've had this thing for quite a few months now. So not only have I tested it in the studio, I've also tested it out in the field. I wanted to give you a real world review of this lens and what it's capable of. Let's talk about the technical specs of this lens. The 24 millimeter T14 two times Perry Probe lens not only inherits all the great features from the Probe lens, but also adds a new tube with a periscope. This new periscope lens unlocks new and exciting possibilities for shooting out in the field as well as the studio. The two times magnification allows for capturing subjects of different sizes with different details. Users could poke the long and waterproof barrel into tight spaces and underwater to obtain a unique perspective. Take a look at this shot here that I have of a water strider. There's no way I'd be able to get that shot without this lens. That is the type of shots that this lens is made for. The LED ring light provides an extra light source. The only complaint I got with the LED ring light is it's a very warm in colour, probably around 3000 Kelvin. So you need to set your camera's white balance to around 3000 Kelvin for this. It is a great addition to the lens, being able to poke it in dark areas and just light it up. The lens can rotate 360 degrees along the axis by unlocking the orientation ring. This is the ring that is just here. So we can unlock it and we can rotate the lens while it's on the camera. So if you want to have a view looking up, you can have it pointing upwards. We can rotate it so it's pointing down at the side. And then you clip the uh, lock back into position and that locks it into position. Additional accessories can be attached to the end of the barrel using the one quarter inch screw, such as a torch like this. We can attach that to the end of it. To give ourselves some extra light it's a 24 millimeter lens the lens itself is a t14 aperture and it goes from t14 to t40 i rarely had it on t40 because it is very very dark but sometimes you did want to stop it down and just create a better depth of field slightly and again it is a two to one macro lens the lens comes in a variety of mounts arari pi canon ef and rf nikon f and z Sony E and the L mount and the lens itself covers a full frame sensor. So I first started off using this in the studio attached to my Canon EOS R. Check out these shots here. These shots have been taken using a fish tank with water and gel inside the water and then I'm moving the probe lens in the water. And that's something I want to talk about when it comes to this lens. For best result, you are better off pairing the lens and camera with an electronic video slider like this one. This slider is from Zpon and it's my go-to slider for any type of creative work like these shots here. The aperture, the focus and the orientation ring have gears on it. So if you have a follow focus system, you can use that with this lens. Got a waterproof barrel all the way up to the USB connector here. With its two times magnification and deep depth of field, you do get a unique bug eye perspective with this lens. And what's new with the Perry Probe is you get the extra threaded tip, as I've mentioned before, zero to 90 degree interchangeable lens. So you can change from the zero, which is the probe, to the 90 degree, Perry Probe, which again has 360 degrees rotation. And you can flexibly swap your barrels based on your needs or the shot you're trying to get. The use cases for this lens are to reach the unreachable shots, travel through tight spaces, a 45 degree tilt up. You can explore new perspectives. And of course we can shoot without constraints. I haven't come across a situation where I haven't been able to get the shot with this. Well, that's something I want to talk about because this lens is that unique. There's not that many occasions that I actually needed to use it. If I came across a certain situation where my normal lens can cover it, I would use that to get that shot or that video. This is a use case when you physically can't get the shot with the standard equipment that I use. Here are some examples of studio shots. 
These shots have been taken with water inside of a fish tank and then I've moved the camera along with my Z-Pon slider. But I really wanted to get testing this out in the field so I took it out to some of my local pools to have a look at what I could find and what I could see in the water. You can see these shots here of these worms, I'm not too sure what they are but it was very interesting to see them in the water. That shot again would not be possible without the Perry Probe. So who is this lens for? If you are a creative, you're doing unique shots and you're getting paid for it so you're a paid creative this is definitely a lens you want in your arsenal. If you're like me and you don't really get paid for those type of shots or you're just playing around, then maybe this lens wouldn't be for you. Maybe it's something you would want to rent or just try out. If I was to buy a probe lens, I would definitely fork out the extra and get the Perry probe lens since you get the probe lens attachment with it and you've just got more unique possibilities that you can do with that particular lens. So all in all, this Perry Probe lens is an absolutely fantastic lens in the right situation. It is a bit big to carry around in your bag, so I really needed to know ahead of time if I needed it or not. So I scouted out places where there's unique shots that I could use the lens on and then take it out with me afterwards. It is an absolutely fantastic little lens. The unique shots you get are fantastic. I love the uniqueness of the shots you get, and I would love to have this in my bag. But fortunately, I now have to send this back to Laura. Are you in the market for a Perry Pro lens? Let me know in the comments below. Have you used one? Have you got any interesting shots? Tag me on social media, I'd love to see them. But that's where I shall leave this video. My name's Stuart Wood. This has been the review for the Perry Pro lens from Laura. And I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for sticking to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please subscribe and click the like button. It really does help out the channel. I want to thank my Patreon supporters for their continued support in supporting me and this channel. If you're interested in joining Patreon, then check in the description below this video for a link to Patreon. If you want to continue watching my macro journey, then click one of the videos in front of you now.